screamer because, let's face it, both these two teams, exceptionally skilled. Uh, I don't think they've dropped maps, or they haven't dropped uh, their games so far in their respective group. So you know what? This one's going to be first blood for one of these two teams, and I cannot wait. <laughs> screamer, it certainly will be, mainly because I'll be screaming at the top of my lungs anyway. I am hyped for this one. Let's see as we get into it. Breakout Hardpoint on board with Mox from Ghost Gaming. Ah, uh, Mox. He's going to kick this one off for us. Central rooftop. As you know, first of 250. Is it Mox? I'd be calling him Mox, but if you chance... Mox. It's Mox. I thought it was Mox. I just wanted to be yeah. sure. Yeah, Mox. Like, we would spell it M-O-C-K-S because <laughs> we're perfect. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Speaking of perfect, great start for Ghost Gaming. They have actually kind of rebuffed all of it, but Jerd's still alive on a 2-0. So it looks like they're playing for a little bit. Oh, no bats. That's not what you want to see. He's clearly coming in cold. Normally he would have nailed that. Oh, still, he does get nailed in return by none other than our boy Mox. Mad Cat also dropping there. So that's three dead for Splice. Going to be pushed back on a spawn. Ghost Gaming can accumulating those points as it would. Mama God. in the hard point as well. Peppery. Using that E-Rad to... Hope, hope he doesn't over pepper it though. No one likes a heavily peppered steak. Oh, do you, Brycey? Are we getting into food now? Too late. Stay away from it. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. It's 36 and 0 right now with Ghost Gaming versus Splice. Uh, not a great start from. Oh my goodness. Not a great start from Splice, and it's not getting any better by the looks of things. This is their worst hard point in fairness. Oh, in fair. I mean, well, in fairness, statistically, their worst hard point. Zero and well. Bans haven't got any kills yet, so. Well, yeah. not on three, not on three. Mad Cat's got one. It is not looking fantastic for Splice at this stage. But look, Bryce, anything can change. As you said, it's not the best game type, but it's still early days. I mean, it can't get much worse than this short. Well, it could, and we're about to see whether or not it does. The problem here you're always going to have with this is if you manage to spawn, spawn them out wall run but don't gain control of the hill, they can actually reinforce fairly easily. You need to get in there and start pushing it, because you always have that advantage when they're coming over from showers, but you have to be in the right position. Like now, Fancy's going to have an advantage if he can get in the right position to take this player down. There we go. Oh, no, uh, and he, he's like, he is going to die. Vance, looking a little flustered, like a little just too on edge at the moment. Maybe he's to sit back. Ditch in the hill. Gotta calm down a little bit. You might be able to find those kills a little easier. Still, 64 to 6. Obviously, Ghost Gaming walking away with this one so far. Still, this is zero from Splice. Sitting on that next hard point. Rotation's fallen straight into him. Mox waiting for his time to strike. And here he goes. Pepper's shots up top. Does get dropped to about half health. And now he's going to make his way through zero, though. Not to be fooled by that kind of shenanigans. We'll be taking him down. Here comes the push. <laughs> Two, three oh. for zero. That is a solid defense, and that's going to be a little bit more time in the bank for Splice. There's been a lot of criticism leveled at zero recently. He went from zero, the MVP of season one, to having a terrible performance in some of the seasons. you got to ask if he's be able to bring it out this tournament. They could really do with him here, having that kind of ridiculous, what was it, 1.3 he ended up pulling out at season one. Well, quickly call out. I think it was Morks with the smokes there. Actually, yeah, Laceville's got smokes as well. One thing we saw about Ghost Gaming in their first series of the day against TK, every single matchup we saw them, every single map, no matter what the game type, they were always using smokes. It's something that was really fun, very, very exciting to watch. Innovative use of smokes there, use the breakup setups. And it has, it's been bled over into this game against Splice. Now, I wonder if the boys from the UK will be fooled by that sort of stuff. We'll see how this one goes again. Splice ever so slowly getting back into this one. 44 now and climbing to 78-0 watching the back door. He does, and he, unfortunately they actually end up losing the hill. Zero, a player flies far past him. His teammate not actually able to pick it up. Now, Zero is waiting to try and get the reinforcement done. Does take down Space. He's looking for the second as well. Picks that one up at the same time. Looking for the player on the hill. The smoke is down. He's looking for him. He's high. He's going to get it as well. A three-piece for Zero there. Now he's going to lock that NV4 and watch anybody hitting the wall run from showers. What can you do against such reckless hate? Zero. Three in the bag. Four in a row so far, and he's accumulating time. Ten and seven for him. Bance now on guard dog duty, and he's a very good boy indeed. Gets that first kill. A little bit of help from Mad Cat. He bouncy, sends, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy sends those players packing. Ghost Gaming now looking a little flustered. Again, they've, they've taken a hit on the chest real hard, and they're just recovering ever so slowly. Getting ready for that next rotation, but again, Splice have brought this one back. Very, very respectable score now. It was not looking like that at the beginning. It certainly was not, and Zero's going to be looking to lock down. Loading bait. Has managed to get the kills. Jerd's got in. Bats has got in as well. He's, I didn't see that player come up top. He will see him now. Can he get it in time? No. That 3-3 three, three that Zero plays and not allowing him to snap. But Jerd comes in, gets his third kill of this current streak, and is now running around. He is going to have to go into the hill to get some time. 
He ran up in the hill though, not the greatest weapon of choice. It's a tiny bit of HP left. Beautiful nade there from Lama God to be taken down. Zero. Peppering shots up on top, not managing to do too much out of this one. As you can see, that mid map control by Ghost Gaming, they've got showers, they've got loading dock, and they're running this one home. Zero, he can't do too much, he hasn't got a lot of room to work with, and as the NV4 player, he's got to be allowing Jur to get in there, and Jur's doing his best on his own. As you can see, shots out from Zero, just put in a really tough spot there and unable to capitalize on any of that, and he's left Jur all on his lonesome, who, albeit he's a big boy, he can handle himself, but still, it's very, very Bans. tough spot. Bantz is in a great position, that's a huge kill from Bantz. On the mocks, can he try and get any more? He's trying to stay alive, allowing his team to get into it. They know he's high, he is going to go down. Lama God knew exactly what he was playing at. And here comes the break. Unfortunately, it will be a three-man break for Splice. Now a two-man, and it may be a one-man in just a second. They're not able to get an awful lot coming through. Mad Cat goes down as well. Splice are all over the place, not really in a great position to break this. Here we go, Lama God up, over and up top. He's going 15 and 7 right now on a five streak. He's a naughty boy. He's 50 points away from a Trinity as well, so this could be really big. 30 seconds left in the cell block. He's going to be picking up a big wrap here. We'll stay on board with him as he continues this run. Tags up that player. 25 now away from that Trinity rocket, and that's going to be very, very helpful indeed. Lacefield as well. 13 and 10. 13 and 11 for Mox. And only 9 and 14 for Spacey. Still, Ghostly Ghost Gaming looking pretty strong here. 151 at 87 and climbing. Yep. Splice getting ready for the next hard point. This is a massive hill for Splice. They need it to come back into this game. They lose it. They go down by a phenomenal amount as Spacely just ripped his face off in that one. Bance gets two. Lama God now trying to answer in on the back. He's got Lacefield in front. Can he keep him alive? Not able to do so, but look at this. FTL from Jurd and FTL in return. And look at that. Oh, manages to not manage to get too much of a kill out of that. But he does buy a bit of time for his team to come in there. And the melee is still happening there on point. Lacefield now trying to come in and pick up the pieces. But you can see Splice racing for this one, getting ready for it. Does find Mad Cat. Two more to go. And Spice still need this time. They really cannot afford to give away that much. But look at this. Spice end up changing through. Jerd gets the trade, but they end up losing it as well as they drop the hammer. Incoming bombardment. Splice have been put way out of this one. They don't have the spawn for next either. They are in a bad place right now. Splice not looking as strong as they have done in the competition already. But ready to break on through this one. Ten seconds left. Mad Cat hoping to make a bit of a dent. Zero there over the top. Maybe able to get out with his life. It's Jerd on the back end, lovely two piece there. He's going to be keeping this run going. Can he make it through? Absolutely, lootly, you can. 70, 176 to 99 as the commissary's just flipped. Jerd now hoping to get a little hit there on the players from behind. That's the Trinity Rocket coming out of, I believe it was Mad Cat. He's, uh, he's just hovering it. There we go. He's trying to get Jerd now. Not able to get anything onto him. That's burned, but Jerd is going to be singled out. They've called him out as well. He goes down. Lacefield gets two. Madcap trying to even the field against Lacefield. Not able to get anything down. This is going from bad to worse for Splice as they simply cannot get anywhere near. 200 points has just been broken there by Ghost Gaming. And <laughs> Bryce, you said it. They can't even get close. Zero, though. This is a good opportunity to make his way in. He's got the timing right. His teammates are pushing him through mid. Big Jammer slows him down. Oh my god, Ghost Gaming have somehow managed to hold on there. Jerd, Jerd though, he get crept in through all the smoke and gunfire. He's made his way through. Mad Cat getting a two-piece in the back end. This is going to be a nice 10 seconds on the clock for Splice. But the next rotation again is not far away. And Ghost Gaming have just been one step ahead the whole game. There's a, there has been some detractors of Jerd saying that he is in fact way overhyped in the past. Uh, and to my argument to that is to say that I don't know a single player in Europe that wouldn't play with him, and most of America as well. He's going 2017 right now, Bryce. He's, uh, he's always been a treat to watch. He's even more of a treat to cast over. Walks, though, has absolutely won my heart today. The boy is insane and has done nothing but ruin players. And he's going to do a little bit more of that now. Picks up Mad Cat, continuing the run. Three in a row. Can he make it four? Indeed, he will. 19 and 16 for him with a minute 13 in the hill. He's just patrolling now. 30 seconds left here on the central rooftop. Continuing the run. Does get brought down eventually. This is Lacefield looking to pick up the pieces. A couple of scraps around the table for him, and he will be grabbing them. So does Lacefield and Lama oh God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lacefield is so good. So his reactive armor as well. And there we go. Gets Jerd 2. Final few seconds now. 2.18 and climbing for Ghost Gaming. The business end we are in, Bryce. And again, Splice might not be their best map, but again, they're not looking as confident as they have done. And here they come. Are they going to hit the wall run? It looks like Ghost may stack it. I imagine we're about to see a smoke come in. But at least we should do. They end up going through. There's still more might hit the wall run. Mox is going to be on there as well. Spacely gets a kill. Mox is going to be out there. No, no good. They're still waiting for it. I imagine that they're going to smoke it. That would be my guess. 
They're stacking up again. They're going to try, try again. Yeah. It's going to be smoke. There we go. Smoke's coming in. They're about to hit the war run. This is a great tactic. You don't see many teams do this, but the fact that, you know, they've clearly worked this out, it's clearly easier to hit from showers. But two good sightlines to go down. Well, let's smoke them. Ghost Gaming have been smoking fools all week long. And I'm hoping to see them do a little bit more of that in the bracket play. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Mortz gets two. Mad Cat and Jerd pushing up daisies. And now Lacefield getting those final few moments. 235. A few more points for Ghost Gaming. They can notch one on the belt. Mortz gets one from Bantz there with that camera play. He's going to answer on another. No, oh, he's going to be taken down there by Jerd. Wonderful work still. Nine points left for Ghost. Spawned out. Jerd's trying to stay alive. He's trying to keep it up into here for his team to come back in. It's now going to be four versus three with Lakefield coming in late, but Lama God's going to get the first. He's already made a second one week, and that is game over. Splice left it a little bit too late. Ghost Gaming coming out swinging. What an opener there. 163 Splice got. Still, everything to play for here. They're going to be going in the SD shortly after this. But man, what a run from Lama God and Lakefield. Those ERADs, absolutely blistering accuracy. So, so, so lethal. Like, capital L lethal. Like, you know, the good kind of lethal. It was very, very <laughs> raunchy to watch that one. Bryce, I mean, what do you, 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 you know Spice far better than I do. You know, you said it's not their best game time. You know, how, it, it's not. Now, it kind of became a meme towards the beginning of the year. EU team's not great at breakout. Splice got over it for a little while. Like, if you went back and actually looked at the stats, you could see that they, they actually had a half decent record against some good teams. The problem being is that a lot of their record was made up against beating a lot worse teams. So Breakout was never like a great map for them. It became an average map at one point. It's currently just not a great map for them at all. The problem being is that their main rivals in Europe, Epsilon, it's actually the best hard point for Epsilon. So they've really struggled to learn and adapt with it. And last time they did try to adapt when they were playing Epsilon regularly, they thought it actually made them worse because it changed too much of how they played. Uh, see, the curse of the pre -land. Sometimes it works out for you. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Bryce, yes, and Devo. How do you rate Splice's S and D up against what we've seen in Ghost Gaming? Bear in mind, we're going to see tons of smokes. We're going to see some very, you know, innovative, strategic gameplay coming out of Ghost Gaming because I, be I think it's going to throw them. I think it will throw Splice. They're thinkers, then, boys. They are. But the the problem being is once you come up against a team which you, you you're not sure of, you haven't done an awful lot, and you're to be asking yourself, have Splice researched mm -hmm. this Ghost Gaming? They've certainly not said anything to me that gives me the idea that they have been doing that. So they probably don't know what's coming, and it's going to be difficult for them. It's going to be basically relying on, can they adapt? Have they got the gun skill to get themselves out of bad positions? If you're spliced, you know, you would say probably could, but it's certainly going to throw them through a loop. I expect to see rounds lost here purely on the fact that it's unpredictable. One thing that is going to be very exciting, Chance and I touched on this the very first time we uh, cast uh, over Ghost Gaming this morning with uh, TK, and that was that Chance was walking down the corridor on the way here towards the casting booth, and he found the entirety of the Ghost Gaming lineup with their coach. Everyone had these great big binders full of information, they had TK written all over it, talking, you know, full strat pages. You you have to assume that they've also got, you know, a, do a, dossier, doss a dossier, a dossier on Splice, you know, and they're going through that dossier? now. A dossier? A dossier, a dossier. I'm waiting for the call from uh <laughs> they're american they'll probably get it wrong anyway <laughs> it says dossier in my ear it was definitely a dossier or a dossier it's a book full of useful information it's, it's got f like well bare load of strats it's got loads of good information on, yeah, on the terrific. baddies it's terrific he's got like <laughs> zero goes left right zero goes a pre-aims pre-aims the doorway my cat likes to use guns yeah Got to get in it right we, now. We, now. We are talking probably, about high-level strategy here at COD Champs, and that is just what I don't what know why is. we put on the accent. I don't know what the accent was for or where it come from. I'll take the blame for that one. That was Italian, my friend. Yeah, look, I, you started. We're about to go into... It was a little bit like... We went way too English. It was way too English. But look, man, sometimes you just have to do it. Bryce, I don't get to class with English people, ever. So this is a treat. I know, you like you get to step up. It's brilliant. Step up <laughs> the game. We're about to go into the S&D, boys and girls. Thank you for sticking through this one. Bravo's been an absolute joy today, and we hope you've enjoyed it as well. Thank you for tuning in. And if you have tuned in all day, pff, bet you're tired, because we're exhausted. But you I'm cannot good. stop. Champs love, baby. I'm good. I was doing press ups outside. I'm, I'm like super hyped for this one. All right, Crusher, Search and Destroy. Let's get into this one. Right now, Ghost Gaming leading 1 to 0 versus Splice. Can they tie it up or are they going down 2 0? They might be going down 2 0. Oh, we, we can't do this again. I mean, we could cast the entire game like this, but we would definitely get in trouble. I've buried too many members of the Splice family, Master One. <laughs> Here we go. 
I'm rather keen to see this one because, again, we touched a little bit on the fact that Spice, you know, their SD is pretty tight. But Ghost Gaming, man, you know, they, they've been throwing teams for six. They've been running loops around them. Smoke's been coming out. It's been very, very fun to watch. And we'll still, we'll kick this one off with Splice. They're on the offensive round. Bance will be running bomb. And nope, no snipes. Oh, the members of Ghost Gaming now going to be answering back. And it's a big, solid push towards A for all of Splice. We're going to see Ghost Gaming slowly react to that one. Bance, early bomb down. No messing. Going to be forcing Ghost Gaming to play retake on that one. Let's see how the boys in yellow set up. This is all dependent on how Ghost choose to attack. Right now, there'll be a conversation going on about which angles they're going to do. Are they going for a pinch? It looks like no. It looks like a stack is about to come in. They're about to push it all at the same time, hoping for it as well. But Zero gets two. Completely shuts them down. Lama God says, I don't want to go through this door. Oh, Zero gets three. And the last one, I think, was picked up by Mad Cat. But they stacked. They failed. And they get shut out. Well, there you go. A oh, Bantu got the last one. Oh, lovely shots there on Lacefield as well. But look at that. What a run. There may have been questions about Zero in the past, but he's a real hero now. That was a delightful round for him. Let's have a quick look at his, uh, how far away he is from streaks. See, well, he's not in Kinetic, so... I mean, it's always well. going to be difficult to get Kinetic in search, so having him put that kind of numbers up is good. Uh, but look at this, another stack coming in. It's all B stack, and it looks like Splice decided aggression is the way to go. Bance gets Jerd, though. Jerd gets Spacely. And Mulch gets Bance. Oh, unfortunate to kill each other like that on the wall run. That is not what you want, but it is what you've got. And that is going to be a 1-1. Ghost Gaming getting very lucky there. The COD Gods smiled upon them. And look, man, when the COD Gods smile, you just smile and wave. You don't say nothing. Bance, unfortunately, taken out Jared there on the wall run. That's a very, very unfortunate mistake they have paid for with an entire round. Look, still early days. Zero's streaks have been reset. Not great for them, but still not a terrible, terrible thing. Here we go. Back into an offensive round for the boys on Splice. It looks like this time at least Ghost have recognized. And they are actually stacking. Hey, is this, are they going to wait it out? Have, has Splice just played this enough? They faked them out? They have. That's actually amazing. The trap is set. Yeah, Ghost Gaming think they're at B. But they're, very, they're still teetering so close to A. And they've gone. Oh. They've committed. Ghost Gaming, Ghost Gaming got faked out. Splice just went to A and held. Didn't let, didn't peek, didn't give him any information. Oh, this is going to be a horrible retake. You see all the splice things so far back. Are they doing the same tactic? Yeah, the bomb's about as far into the corridor as it can be, so they've got the line of sight of it. There's three of them watching the back, though, which is actually quite interesting. Still, Zero's watching forward. You see where the bomb is. It's going to oh, be so, so hard to defuse. Nades out. The smokes, though! The smokes from Ghost Gaming, and are they going to be able to capitalize on it? This is what I spoke about, right? Like. Splice just aren't going to be used to this, but Maga ends up flying in as well. He's going to be able to get it, and they do shut them down. Fortunately, it went well for them. Splice with that smoke went down. Must have gone, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> we had a great thing. We could have sat back here and completely controlled the bomb site. Smoke goes down. You no longer have control. So I will say, though, in uh, Zero's defense, as soon as the smoke went down, he pre-aimed exactly where the bomb was, just in case there was a player going down there. But again, Ghost Gaming not to take the risk. They put the smokes down and they went for a bit of a kill and in the end the exchange was just too splice heavy and they happily walked away with that one still. If this is a sign of things to come, Bryce, we are in for an absolute treat with this SND. Splice chose to go to a site. Nothing there right now. Ghost aren't 100% certain of what's going on, but they are going to try and plant this one. Splice is stacking. Are they going to go in for this early? Bomb's going to go down. I imagine it's going to be instantly challenged. Gone through. Later on, Judge trading out at the time. Mox manages to get away. Zero with a bit of a shaky shot. Not quite able to nail him. Bats going in through the smoke. Using the smoke that Ghost actually ended up throwing. It's a mayhem. <laughs> Pandemonium. Lays to a last man alive for Ghost Gaming now. He's going to be facing the mighty Run late. Zero and Mad Cat at the same time. Oh, oh wow. Zero. Up. That final little hop saved him. And you saw how much health he had left. Tiny, tiny amount. And here we go. There's the defuse. Still getting ever so close to that kinetic armor. Oh, actually, no, wait. Did we patch that out? They got patched out, didn't it? What a shame. Yes. Oh, well. Still gets a little 100 points. Commiserations, mate. Miles, do your homework. Do, <laughs> do your bloody homework, boy. 3-1 already. Splice again, the S and D. Surprise though, to be honest, Ghost Gaming. I expect a lot more of them. I think they've got they've got plenty in this in the playbook. Bryce has tons to do in there, but they're just not executing quite as well as they'd hope. Again, Splice one step ahead every single time. Let's see how we go. All right, here we go once more on board with the attacking team, and this time Ghost chose to stack A. 
Not going to hit it, so they will end up hitting the flank here. But do splice, push straight through, or do they go for the plant? It's all going to be on Madcat. Madcat will be the first one to get engaged. Did he see it? Madcat has seen it. Madcat knows his flank's now coming in. You see Splice react. They all turn. They're all now pre-aiming for it as well. Madcat ends up falling off the map, but Judge Zero and Bance all get the kills. Mox now is the last one alive in a one versus three. Can he do anything here against Splice? Or off the map. Off the map. Go on. Get. He's going to try for one poke. Now he's got to commit. Oh no! We got caught out there. He had the poke chance. He thought he might be able to catch somebody behind the crates, and in the end, I think, was, I think Jerd snapped him from behind the crates. He did as well. Watch, Dero got four hits on him, and Jerd didn't miss. That's one way to do it. There we go. Another round. 4 1 splice. They won that first place, and at this rate, they're going to get it. Well, they got to get a couple more rounds still, but what a display so far. SD wins championships. Does a damn good job of getting you through this series already. Big old push towards A. Oh, they've sorry. actually cut out. They're going for the heavy flank. This is a very quick flank. They're actually hitting this quicker than Ghost hit it. Are they going to be able to see it? It's basically going through, but that jammer is going to throw off Jerd before he can do anything, and they choose not to plant here. That jammer's timing oh, was absolutely immaculate. Yeah, it's completely shut them down. It's now a two versus four. But the players of Splice aren't even together. They cannot, cannot trade at all. It's a massive risk. You can get a couple of players at least, but the trades are not going to be favourable. You can see those two players of Splice now recuperating together. They've retreated and now they've found themselves at the same point. This is finally now looking like a sensible option for the retake. Spacely caught unaware. That's a great start. Splice now moving on through. This is all about trying to minimise profile while still being able to get these trades down. They've got to win individual gunfights. It's now two versus two. It's now a two versus one. How on earth are they doing this? Lacefield left alive. Can he get the one versus two? No! Madcat shuts him down. Zero and Madcat just got a two versus four against Ghost Gaming with the bomb down. 12 seconds on the clock, and that's a defuse. What a way to put themselves on the map point. Splice. They played that so perfectly. Spacely caught unaware. They completely collapsed on the player behind the boxes. Lacefield at that point was trying to react, but they'd already made the trade. Madcat over the top, and he clinched the, get the 1v1 gunfight. My God, it's all coming down to this. Ghost Gaming have fallen apart at the seams, Bryce. This is a disaster for them. They were such a strong s &D squad earlier today. Splice just got their number from start to finish. Can they close it out here in a clean 6-1? Mad Cat was went berserk there as well. He got three of those kills. He got the first two. He just won every gunfight. He wasn't losing a single one. But here we go. One more push. They're actually might end up, are they going to push all the way through? The calls come in. No, they've said we're going to plant early. But the rest of Spice are pushing through. Look how close all of these eight players are actually going to be. Zero gets first. Trades coming in everywhere, and it's going in favour of Spice again to two versus one. Box to one versus two. FTL out of here. Mad Cat will take that one. Well, hey, 6-1 indeed, Bryce. And FTL over the top of that. <laughs> that looks so brilliant from that third-person perspective. There you go, boys. 6-1, that's how you do it. That's a masterclass in Search and Destroy right there from Splice. Ghost Gaming, I had high hopes. Very, very high hopes for them going into that one, and they certainly disappointed me. So that's tied up 1-1 one, one in the series, I'll Bryce. be perfectly honest with you. I didn't think Splice were gonna, it was going to be that kind of one-sided you know spice no. just kind of knew exactly what they wanted to do they faked out ghost gaming they hit everything as a four no kind of super special tactics apart from that one fake out but yeah really impressive we are now tied one one we are going to go for a quick commercial break we'll be right back with map number three
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty World Championship 2017 presented by PS4. We are going into map three with Splice versus Ghost Gaming. My name is Bryce and the bearded man to my left is going to be Miles Ross. Hello, Brycey. Thank you very, very much. Ah, well, we're 1-1 in the series, already tied up. Ghost Gaming took the hard point and the S&D was taken in the most possible handed fashion by Splice. It's pretty damn dirty. Six. Six yeah. two. Six one. It was a treat, it was a joy. There was a 2v4, which was amazing to watch. But enough of that crap. Let's get in the precinct on up. I think this is game number three. Bryce. I mean, I saw Ghost Gaming play earlier today and I was like, it's TK, they weren't fantastic. They were solid enough going forward on throwback. I know precinct's an entirely different beast altogether. But that fluidity of gameplay, that agility, you've got to be very succinct in your attacks. You gotta come back, you gotta hit hard with the aggression, you still have to be flexible enough to get back, get control of that middle point again, get the drone revolving once more for those big old relays. I'm not sure if Ghost Gaming can do it in the current form they're in. I think Splice may have the advantage here, but enough of my crap. Let's see what the game says. All right, Lama God is gonna be inside ball at the moment. Looking for him, Dallas managed to take him down and they will grab the drone very, very quickly, but Zero is gonna be there and Zero says, no, I'm gonna kill you all, all of you. However, Drone goes back down. It's basically probably wondering what to do with it now. Probably will pass it out. And then they look for another kill. They need to set up again to get these kills. It's basically, I'm pretty sure he saw that guy coming in from behind him. But again, the timing seems to have worked out. A couple of three kills now for the boys. Yeah, uh, surely not. Oh, he somehow just, he just put the fear of God in a space thing. It's basically, basically put his gun down and surrendered there. And here is what you get for Surrender. Jerd is all up in your base. Ooh, not able to get the high one-point throw. He was going to go for that throw there. Oh, oh wow. Lakes field. field. What a great play by him. And uh, I think they ended up just saying, look, Jerd, go for the one. Jerd is, is kind of famous for being one of the most consistent players at hitting ones, uh, at least in Europe. That's a very... That's a very nice accolade to have attached to your name. The fact that you're solid at hitting one point is because, let's face it, where they can make or break a game, and we're about to see something potentially happen here. Spacely, he's got a bit of work to do ahead of him, but he's possibly going to be able to get the one point in there. Wow, very, very unfortunately, I thought Bance was in position to get slopped that one. Not it was going to be the case. 1-0 now. Close getting up against Splice in very, very early days. My god, the Erad of Bance, man. Getting shots like that against MV4 players. Still, does get dropped. Lacefield now is in control of the drone. We do have Ghost Gaming in control of mid, and they have a bit of room to work with, but can they make this play work? They've just been dropped down to two members, and here comes Splice. They're about to envelop on them from a couple of angles, and my <laughs> dear Lacefield. god. Lacefield is just running around now with the drone. And he's still got it in hand. He's going to make a play of it. It's an interesting tactic, really, keeping full possession of it, not only allowing the other team to have any say in where you kind of dictate the pace of play. And it's doing really well. He's actually just done a lap. Uh, and he's got it again. Is he going to do a second lap? <laughs> Bryce, I think he might actually do oh, it. Oh, no, he's, ma he's, he's making a choice. He's now heading straight. Oh, he's been tagged up. He's got a little bit of damage done to him, and that was very, very stern shots from Mad Cat. He's going to slow that down. Still, two laps around the map is not a bad thing. And that possession still counts because Ghost Gaming in the lead every second lost is one in their favor Spice now where are they going the is zero trying to bait them out here or is he going to be relying on mad cat to clear him a path yeah. it looks like he's going to rely on mad cat to do something for him oh because he got the drone he actually had no armor They're cut in half straight away Mork's now trying to move it forward. He's also going to be dropped. There's a bit of a battle happening on point jerd somehow managing to stay alive there traded out by spacely so we're back to even stevens in the mid Spacely, though, is going to be getting those kills on Bans. It's very important for Ghost Gaming to retain that possession of drone, retain that presence in mid-map. Splice, sitting back in their base, have been forced into this position, and they're very, very slowly getting out of it. But again, Ghost Gaming unable to capitalize on this. Not strong enough going forward, not strong enough for creating those opportunities and capitalizing on them still. Even Stevens, in terms of you know possession and where everyone's looking at the moment, but Ghost Gaming still have that one point on the board. Bryce, what's going on here with Spice? You know, are they? What's going on? I think Ghost Gaming doing a really good job of winning these gunfights to try and move the drone forward. Splice has just been equal to it until now. However, that will go in. It will be 3-0 now to Ghost Gaming. Solid pass there from Lacefield to Vance. Sorry, no, sorry. Lacefield to Space. Excuse me. 3-0 three, three, nothing at the moment. Splice. Still, Joe going for those one points, unable to make it work. Cut down. Again, the very slow, methodical play of Ghost Gaming has seemed to pay it off. You know, we're talking about how they're not necessarily making the most of these moments, but it is working out for them. The trades are very, very solid. 
And then one of those gunfights smokes out for Cargo's Gaming and Llama God somehow finding Joe through the smoke there. And now they're trying to play that advantage, but the drone has been stalled and will be reset. All right, Madcat just posting up here now as well. Splice may be considering a little bit of a change of tactic simply because nothing they've done so far has really worked. However, now they're in a great position. Madcat will be overwatch, but he goes down. Mads is going to go for the one. It's up. It's high. It's actually good. Somehow threads the needle and gets it in. Not entirely sure how all of those Ghost Gaming members in the way missed it. 25 seconds left. That's exactly what they wanted. Now Lacefield trying to make another play happen here. Grabbing the drone, moving it forward the best they can hope for. 20 seconds now on the clock. Can Splice tie things up? It's not looking too great. Space, space field. <laughs> Spacely and Lacefield managed to get a couple of kills out of that one in the final 10 seconds. They're moving the drone forward. Big beat down there from Madcat. And the drone is all the way through and, and an upload in the final seconds of the first half. Just, just the one before though. the whistle. Died before he got the two. But makes it a two possession game rather than a one. That's incredibly important for Splice. As we flip sides, we've got to get back into this one. Again, looking a little lackluster here. This is not exactly what Splice wants. Still tied 1-1 one, one in the series. Ghost Gaming looking to go up ahead. And they're doing the right things. They're going the right way about it, Bryce. Well, can Splice do something now? Ghost Gaming right now have had the run of this game. Players like Lacefield laying it down onto Splice. Let's see what he can do as he goes forward. Doesn't have that kinetic, but should be able to get it late towards the end of this half. Fancy going forward as well. Gen Zero clearing the way. Zero getting the other way. He's trying to stay alive. That armor keeps him alive at the time, and he is going to go for the one. And it was a, a little bit of a loose one that was not a million miles away from being a miss. That would have been a very tragic miss, Bryce. Who is that in their spawn? Zero. Zero's actually up to pick it. Oh, it's not exactly going to pay off for him. He's having to double back as quick as he can. Drone's been moved forward, but luckily Bounce is there Time to slow down. Oh, no. Take back. Oh, that one now. Blow up the... <laughs> blow up the, uh, the hydrogen gas, I think it is. Absolutely toast him, so that's going to help a lot. Vance is going to be moving on through. He has been tagged up. Drones out. Lace Flama God, sorry, is going to be getting the kills there. But Zero's keeping the run alive, and this is big. But Dunk is going to tie things up. Oh, and the lane's open. The throw's out. Oh, so nearly intercepted that one. Mork's got two. So all of Splice has been cleaned up from the field, and now we're going to see Ghost Gaming moving on back through. They've got mid control. They need a couple of kills out of this one. They're in position to make this play work. Smoke is out. There's a the statue control, but it has been slowed down. Jerd. And Madcat working oh, well together. Madcat has been on fire so far this uplink. He hasn't got the greatest score to show from it, but his MV4 is just ripping pillars. Mox actually ends up getting three to open it up. That's the fourth there for Mox as well. So this is going to be two just off the back of it. No! Interception! Bats ends up whipping it away from the sky. Says you can take us all down, but respawn is a thing. Here I am. Spacely though. Picking up the pieces, he's gone over the top. Can we see a second? No, Jer, taken now just before. And that is going to be 5-3 now. Splice still in this with a chance, but Ghost Gaming one point at a time. Looking to get away from this one, but still, here we are. Big aggressive push from the boys in red, and that's it. Bounce has been dropped. Lacefield's had to slow down the jam. Oh. It's part. Llama God with three! When did that happen? And now Lacefield's got the drone in hand. He's moving forward. Morks is going to be on point. This is another dunk, potentially. They're going to go for the one, and that's fine. No problem. 6-3. It's now a three-point game. It certainly is. Magat desperately trying to get away as he stays alive. But they are now relaying this back and back. Who's that? It's going to be Jerd in there. There's a camera go up it as well. They're looking for him. They're spraying. They can't see him. And it's another dunk for Ghost Gaming. And they are really heating this one up. Lacefield is going berserk. Lacefield's going off. Morks is going 24 and 14. Things are really looking up for Ghost Gaming here in the second half. Still Splice. Trying to get back into this one. Bans. A little bit of a change of equipment. He's going to pick up that player. He's going to get the tag. He's backing up though, and this is a big play. He's actually got a big, he's got a full open lane. He's going to take him on. Morks is the only player in position to slow this one down. It's a big pass to Jerd. He gets over the top and he's dropped immediately. And that is an interception. The drone is still out in the street, but all the members of Splice have been taken home. That is going to be uncontested completely. Can Ghost Gaming make something off the top of this? Well, they are certainly going to try. Here they go. Lacefield will actually grab the drone this time around. He's the ERAD player, so they're definitely going to be wanting those ARs out there. But they are going to go down. It's still being traded out around this, though, as it does get pinged out. Zero managed to get two. Bats got one. They are clear for now. But one minute 45 left to go. Trailing by five. Splice have a mountain to climb now. They have to make some serious moves going forward. It's possible, Bryce. Madcat's just got his, their first payload. It is possible. 
going to be overdrive as well. So they're going to be looking to make a two with this. And he's gone for it. He's actually going to go for the beatdown. He's going to go outside. He's going to go back in. He's... Oh, no. Overdrive made him overshoot. He was trying to get through there as well. But that is a payload burned. And they only have a minute left to go. It's still a free possession game. Oh, Bant's desperately struggling to stay alive there. Gasping for air. He has camo as well. Ready to make something happen there. He's 22 and 22 at the moment. He's ready to go. Lacefield is not far away from that reactive armor. And here we go. Back in the mid. Bant's... Second attempt, they've got less than a minute left. They can get a play out of this one. Get back in there. They might be able to do something here. It's got to be real special, though. There goes the pass to Bance. Active camo pop. He's taken a ton of heat. Is it going to be too much? It is. He's going to be cooked. And now it is all said and done. That is going to be it. There is no way now. That's a, that was a desperation possible. play. Like, you got to remember that we know that Ghost Gaming are carrying a lot of tacticals. They've been doing it all series long. The camo was just never going to be effective. A single jammer, you get that kind of outline that you can see. And with the nades coming in, he you, he could tell as soon as he started to get hit, he was going to die. He tried to get out of vision. But there we go. 8-3. This should end. Pretty much nothing they can do. Lacefield and Llama God. Cutting them down to size. Marks, of course, doing fantastic as well. It's big numbers, Bryce, across the board. Morks, though, yeah. he's just a powerhouse. He has been all day long. He's, he's one of the stars for champs to me so far. Absolute monster. And just major, major props to Ghost Gaming and their use of tacticals, as you said. Between the jammers and the smokes, they're willing to try things out. They're willing to give it a shot, where everyone is just running, you know, the same old, same old, the vanilla, if you will. Ghost Gaming are willing to shake things up a little bit. And when they shake things up, things look pretty sweet for them, as just shown. They certainly are, and we're now in the situation. Splice are 2-1-2 down what do you think next hard point next hard point ah dude first hard point was a bit of a blowout but yep. that was splice's worst map arguably you know it was the breakout well, it's a snake logo isn't it come on we got to hiss our way through this one well they're one down <laughs> they're one down in the series so far <laughs> there's a good chance though i think on this hard point again we're going to see a different splice because let's face it not the best game type uh we we do have a chance to get them back on the board and tie things up force the game five but ghost gaming solid as a rock right now mm -hmm. riding the momentum off of the big uplink win and that was a big win let's face it that was a that was a bit of a hiding there wasn't much splice could do it's not like the score line wasn't huge it but was, they weren't even on the field at times it, w it was interesting right for me because there were parts where like yeah splice are at least trading them up here but Llama got Lacefield marks. They, they were just picking up these big strings of kills. I think Mad Cat was a big factor in holding it down. He was playing a very slow MV4, just constantly trying to pick up one or two and, and kind of slow them down on that aggression. But it wasn't enough at any point. So, Splice, you've got to ask, going into this one, are we looking at the same sort of story as Breakout, even though knowing that Splice aren't particularly effective at it? Or will Splice finally have some fire to them? Is this ending 3-1 or are we going to map 5? I think we're going to map 5, Bryce. I want to map 5. You want to map 5. Do you want to map Phil 5? Phil wants to map 5. Momo wants to map 5. Momo's right behind the camera, guys. Just so you know, we're all a big COD family here at COD Champs. Yeah. Yeah. Except Without exception, 4. we all hate Phil. Without exception. We are almost ready to go into the hard point, ladies and germs. And once we do, we can assure you it's going to be a scream. This series has not disappointed in the slightest, Bryce. We've had a little bit of everything so yeah. far. We've had blowouts, we've had extremely close matches, and now we've had a, uh, a game Accents, we've, we've had accents as well. Yeah, a bit of Michael Caine, and I'm sure we'll have plenty more before the series is up. I what? hope not. I really hope we don't. I promise you we will. <laughs> How do you not have an Australian accent? Why do I? I? You surely, you're like, because, you uh, must have picked up a little bit. Like, you've been out there for a while now, right? I can turn it on and off, and it depends. Like, if I'm in a rough part of town, I don't want to be like, oh, hello, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Does anybody know the way? I don't want to do that. I'm like, ah, uh, mate, uh, I'm looking for me dog. Me dog's just come through here, and uh, me dog, mate. And they're like, that is not your like, Australian accent. I refuse to believe that you walk around Australia sounding like that. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. I don't. No, no. I walk around like this. It's just how I am. I'm not putting anything on, dude. I'm not. You put it on the. Is this being even real? <laughs> <laughs> Are we almost ready to go? It's actually game? Rel in disguise. <laughs> this is what Rel looks like with hair. That's what it is. Don't say that. I don't. I don't know what Rel looks like. I can't Rel's like... Phil's brother. So like Phil, but more attractive. Ah, gotcha. Speaking of attractive, we got a good one coming up now. Here we go. This is the first. Uh, this is the first throwdown hard point I've seen in tournaments so far. In uh, in Le Cod Champs 2017, presented by PlayStation 4. This is the first one I've seen, and I'm excited to get into it, bros. All right, let's have a little look at this one going down. Will Splice bring this to a map five, or are we ending it here? 
we are of course about to find out. What do you think? Give us a give us a scoreline. Scoreline uh, 250 to 178 splice. To be very specific, and Bryce, just to go back to this, the reason why I don't have an Australian accent is I'm just too strong of a man to okay. let my English accent go. Okay, I hear that, but that says a lot for Benson, who's lost his English accent. That was the point. <laughs> <laughs> Just casually rip the host of the desk. <laughs> Never mind, let's jump into this one. Of course, we are starting on the half point. Mid hill. We can see Zero taking control of top train. Sweet shots from Zero across map, trying to keep Morks out of the fight. As soon as Morks gets in the fight, a spell's doom for Splice. Like, he's just been playing so great all day long. This series, no exception whatsoever. First 30 seconds already looking pretty clean for Splice. Llama God, though, straight in with the E-Rad. He's not even going to hit the floor before his health regenerated. Now he's going to get a little bit of time and maybe get a kill out of this one as well. Oh, Mad Cat! You can never count Mad Cat out of a 1v1. He will always find a way, Bryce. It is he gave such him the shake shack on the wall, just like, just kicked off of it, parkour. It's like, yeah, I've got you. It's like he's, he's out of the Matrix. Trinity, Trinity did that move in the Matrix, oh, I'll have you know. God. I bet Mad Cat doesn't look as good in a uh, leather jumpsuit, though. He looks better. It's way better. <laughs> All right, moving around into Barn, you can see Splice starting to tee up. Looking for those entry kills, they know that he's going to be ghost gaming four deep. However, they get the first one. They are now actually entering. Zero's going to be looking for the player at the back. He isn't going to be able to get him. But Splice do get in. Joe's going to be there. Robert Lacefield takes him down. And it's only going to be Mad Cat left at the back. He's now running an ERAD. And he's looking for Llama God. Llama God, though, and Mox are going to team up to take him down. Bats goes in as well. Mox is still there lying down just outside front barn. Oh, here we go. Back on the swing of things. Splice now getting on the board. This game in a little bit of a slower, slower run of things so far. Bryce, I'm telling you, man, 250, 176. That's the score. Quote me on it a little bit later on. Space League going to be dropped there by zero. And we go. Still making a play towards this 100 points for Splice. Things are really looking up. 10 points left on Barn. That's going to run out soon. And the next rotation is going to be a doozy. I just had a quick thought, though. Can you imagine if uh, Llama God and Human Jesus got together and set up a really weird church of, like, off deities? <laughs> <laughs> deities that aren't quite there. Just like, just off-centre deities. Knock off deities. <laughs> Knock off deities.com forward slash help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of deities, right now Ghost Gaming need a prayer. Right, they are considerably down onto this one as well. 79 to 16. Almost at that 80 point part. What did you just say? Almost at the 80 point part. <laughs> All right, okay. What did you think I said? Bryce? I don't know. I thought you said you've yeah. got a pointy pipe part. <laughs> Who's got a pointy part? Not me, that's, that's for sure. But once we get to that 100 points, though, I'll give you a check in. Here we are 92 and climbing. Splice looking far more <laughs> like them old selves. Ghost Game and not to be found here on Throwback. So far, the competition has been uh, really, ghosts have been much stronger than the response. But I think, Bryce, you were absolutely spot on in your analysis that's, that Breakout was not theirs, it was not to be found. And here we go. Almost at the 100 point club. Llama, Llama God and Co. Trying to hold on here. Man, that was close range. Bans just got the drop on Llama God there. A little too quick on the trigger. Heavy e rat presence coming in, by the way, for the guys on Splice. And I'm wondering, you know, if, if that may be the difference coming through. You know, once they've got the e rats in their bang, you've got Mad Cat running one as well. He's 9 and 4. Zero's going to be the one running the NV4 for them. Trinity found only Lacefield there. He kept Zero alive for a little bit longer, but they are flooding in. They got that close blue spawn. Now, realistically, you don't always want the blue spawn because you want to push them out back blue towards barn, towards green. However, if you can get close blue and you start trading, you can actually end up pushing them to mid-map, maybe even to their top food. So it can work out for you, and that's exactly what happened there as well. But now they are kind of pushing in. They stood on zero. Matt can end up entering as well. Space is going to be there. Oh, my goodness! Space that he hits fans. Goes through, but Jerd is equal to it. He goes down again to Mox. And again, this is what we're talking about. The amount of speed you can trade coming into this hill if you are spawning blue. My God, what a turn this has been. Baseball field has been a fantastic hard point for Ghost Gaming already. And as you can see, the next flip, we're going to move in again. I wonder if we can get Ghost Gaming on this one. Spice, did he get any points for a, they've had points for a very long time now, Bryce? I mean, this is looking a bit dry for them. It's certainly been uh, certainly been a red affair so far. Spice, again, not exactly getting the, the most out of the train platform already. And that was almost a very beautiful turn in from Llama God, but will be dropped. Madcap picking up Morks in the back end as well. So that's going to be Splice in control of the hard point for the time being. Lacefield, though, has got a thing or two to say about that. Sitting there in top food. He's going to be draining shots on from above. Zero, though, taking care of the players on the flank. One gets oh. two. <laughs> Beautiful shots and a third. Oh, no, it's Morks. Wonderful cross, cross, cross map aim there. And again, smoke's going down in mid as they try to retake that middle ground. Again, wide open space. What do you do? Create a blockage of the line of sight. 
Laceville still in top food, still being a nuisance. This is good work from Ghost Gaming, but again, they're not quite on the scoreboard yet. They certainly aren't. Only 12 seconds left to go, and they've got to be a bit careful here. Splice will be looking to try and make these kills mid and then push them through, but they're not actually. Splice is spawning up, so this is fully in favor of Ghost Gaming. They just have to make sure they make these first set of rotation kills, and they should get significant amount of time. Here comes the push from Splice. Scarab coming out from Layfield, hiding it behind Hay. I like it. Spacey coming over the top, watching the back of Grannies. Three members of Splice on the way in. There's one. Beautiful work. Can he clean up the next? Yes, Bance is cleaned up while he's weak, so that is a beautiful hold there. This is a good work here from Ghost Gaming and Splice. They've just seemed to run out of petrol for now. I think they need to uh, stop up, stop up, and top up. See if they can get themselves back on the road. But again, Ghost Gaming just looking a little too ferocious right now. They're on top of these rotations, and the, the setups are solid. They're holding on for a long amount of time. Here we go, though. Zero trying to make his way through. Not able to get through Lacefield. He does have a little bit of help with his friends, but again, that's Ghost Gaming 100 points. Getting a little bit closer to Splice. It is. Bans ends up going down as he tries to push Tunnel there in the end. You can already see the rotation coming in. Who is that mid-map? I think it's Jer no, Zero. Zero's mid-map trying to lock it, but he ends up going down the Lacefield. Jer's going to be there as well, though. He has that FDL as both teams now start to posture, start to position, looking to get anywhere near that middle bridge bike path and try and lock it down for their team. It's always going to be a contest-heavy spot, simply because you can stay in cover and stay in the hill. And we are still mid-map contest. Mostly looking like Ghost Game at this point. Can we get a little bit of action over the top? Is that player Morks just sitting up on top of trains in middle, overwatching the situation there? And he's starting to get those kills. Llama God now trying to dance in the middle. This is going to be a real heavy push. He's going to make that entry kill very fast before he can bait out the other members of Splice. And it does work out, but zero back bust, lovely shots. Pushes Lacefield back. Suppressive fire, massive. Doesn't even need to get the kills, but he's buying time for his team. And here comes Mad Cat in there. Over the top on Morks as well. Zero. What a champion, another long range kill. But the contest now, gonna slow the fight down. Final 16 seconds here of bike path, not very fruitful for either squad. Still though, Zero holding on. He backs up, he, he backpedals furiously. Knows they have to stay alive. Not a lot of points there for Ghost Gaming on that one, but absolutely zero for Splice. Madcat's actually gonna get camo, there's an FTL going on as well. Baz gets twos, but he gets traded out. And right now, Madcat needs to go reinforce his teammates. They are in fact spawning out. Is he going to camp? He needs to wait. He's camoing now. Oh, he's been needed out. Beautiful kill, though. Managed the to get the coming one. in. Big pinch as well. Jerd FTL's in at the same time. Looking for it. Madcat ends up picking up the second one. He knows what players are coming towards him. Mox is out there. Bats getting the two pieces as well. And finally, Splice end up holding down this hill as it's going to be a spawn out for Ghost Gaming. We've seen a little bit of a change from them, Bryce. And again, the trades have been very favorable for Splice. Positioning has been on point there. Lovely shots from Zero at back. Look at this Jerd up close. The old right hook and another two-piece there. Lacefield will be put to rest. Jer's waiting for those next set of players to make his way through. And again, it's been a very slow few hard points for Splice, but they seem to be back in action. Madcat just caught there by Llama God. So far, so good. Ghost Gaming getting back into this. Spacey taken down. Llama God once again being a force to be reckoned with. Madcat as well. Lacefield. My goodness, the E-Rads on these boys. You wouldn't believe. Cover your eyes, mum. <laughs> You certainly wouldn't. It is going all the way down to the wire. Now, can they hold here in the middle? They want as many points as possible. It's still 44 seconds, a little bit early for rotation. He's basically looking for all the points he can find. Bryce, this is astonishing. Look at the score, 177, 165. Ghost just managed to etch this back. Fingernails, teeth, anything they can to get back into this. Splice, I mean, I'm still favouring them. I still think they're a fantastic team, but they've just been pushed to their limits. They've been pushed onto the fringes, not able to get many points out of this one. Again, more big shots taken down. That's Ghost Gaming getting ripped apart. Zero again. What a monster he is. But is it too little too late? Lacefield with his E-Rads. He's melting fools. Centurion currently down in barn. I believe he's put down as well. And Mox, although, is going to get back. But Zero and Bans, they equal it up here, both these two teams. And I have to give credit to both of them here. I'm just doing so fantastic in trading, but they're looking for it as well. Kinetic shutdown. Zero doesn't actually have his yet. That's still advantage. That Centurion is already paying dividends for Splice. They've just passed the 200 mark, and that is absolutely massive. Madcat has just bought his team a massive amount of time. I think it has just left the field, but no, it's still there. He's still doing a wonderful amount of work. Watch for those players of Ghost Gaming just unable to get in there and deal the damage. Beautiful turn from Morks. What in God's name was that? And they have to take care of the Centurion. Finally shut down. A 
and this is going to be a little bit of time. 23 seconds left. No one's in the hard point. No one's getting the time. They finally need to get somebody in there because, again, Splice, over 200 points now. We're getting very, very close. Oh, Lace Field, smokes. two in a row on the doorway. Can't finish the third. It's Mad Cat again. And again, can he get the third as well? He's looking for him, but the nades are going to come in and make him weak. Here we go. We go to bike path. I think this is ending baseball. He might have to win baseball prize, as we said. The last bike path was not very fruitful for either team, and I don't think it's going to be any different here. Lacefield still doing his thing. Mork's now pushing on through mid. He's trying to buy a bit of space for his team. He's got a scarab if he wants it, but not really necessary. Again, utility usage has been fantastic from the boys on Ghost Gaming. They're going to really need to work through this one in a big way. Spice have got numbers. They're about to make the push. They can commit the numbers here to get these players out of the point. But again, incoming from Lemon. Two members from Ghost Gaming over the top. The shots are ringing out. Morks gets one. Lacefield now. Still contesting. It's not been great. Morks, though, the hero for Ghost Gaming, and now they've crossed 200 points. They're not far away. Things are looking good. Tierra got three there. And then looking to get some more points down. They are looking to get more points onto Bike Park. However, they have lost the spawn because of it. Madcat trying to go through. He ends up losing the spawn as well. Zero Wally well, is going to take this scrap time. They just don't have it. No, he's not going to take the scrap time. As in comes Lacefield, ripping around with that Erad. It's going to be Madcat who slips through into baseball. And it's going to be a massive... Massive play for Mad Cat if he can do anything, oh. and he can't. No, taken down there. Walks though, gets one. Player on the wall run as well. Beautiful positioning. This is absolutely monumentous for the members Zero of Ghost Gaming. His kinetic. He's still got it. He could pop in here now with it. But he's still way away. That's the problem. He needs his teammates to stay alive while he does so. Good timing on the pushes here from Spice. They're in on them. Zero's oh. now going to hit this kinetic shortly as he comes through. Taken down by Morks. No, didn't use it again. Scarab from Orcs buying the time, smokes out there from Ghost Gaming. Oh, they managed to pick that players up through the, he picked up his legs through the fence there. This is huge. Again, we've got Ghost Gaming in the league now. They're almost at the finish line. Are we going to come down to a photo finish? You said it, Bryce. We're coming down to baseball field. They can win it here. Final few points. Spice are contesting. And here we oh, go. Oh, down they go. Llama God, what an absolute superstar. And I cannot believe it, Splice. They've given it away now. And Ghost Gaming, it's going to be a 3-1 and first place finish in their group. Over Un Splice. My Unbelievable. God. Splice not turning up when it counted. Ghost Gaming will take it 3-1. to one. And you are right. Splice will enter as a second place team. That's certainly a big fish on that side of the bracket.